This problem covers the concept of writing balanced equation. Question says how many milliliter of 0.5 mH2SO4 are needed to dissolve 0.5 gram of copper 2 carbonate. So this is CuCO3. So what will happen if you react copper 2 carbonate that is CuCO3 with H2SO4? Now you can always write you will have CuSO4 plus H2CO3 and H2CO3 is basically unstable it decomposes into H2O plus CO2 so we will have CuCO3 plus H2SO4 and this will give CuSO4 plus H2O plus CO2. Now we have been given 0.5 gram of copper 2 carbonate. So this is 0.5 gram. So we can calculate moles of copper carbonate. So moles of CuCO3 and this is equals to weight divided by molecular weight 63.5 plus carbon is 12 and this is 48. So this value, let me check, this is 63.5 plus 12 plus 48. So this is 123.5. So this is 0.5 divided by 123.5. So moles of CuCO3 is basically equals to 0.5 divided by 123.5 moles. Now once I know moles of CuCO3 we can calculate moles of H2SO4 because one mole react with one mole. CuSO4 one CuCO3 one mole reacts with one mole of H2SO4. This means moles of CuCO3 is same as moles of H2SO4. So now I can say moles of H2SO4 and this is same that is 0 0.5 divided by 123.5 moles and moles of H2SO4 we can also calculate by volume and let us say this is concentration so let us say B liter be required so B liter H2SO4 is required H2SO4 is required So number of moles we can always calculate number of moles of H2SO4 in V liter. So this is equals to M into V and molarity is 0 0.5 into V. So this is the number of moles. Now this mole and this mole we can always equate so 0 0.5 divided by 123.5 is equals to 0 0.5 into B. So we have V is equals to 1 by 123.5 liter. Now this we can convert into milliliter. So V is equals to so let us use calculator. So this is 1000 divided by 123.5 5. So this is 8.097 ml. So 8.097 ml. So now I can say 0.5 gram copper carbonate will be dissolved If we take 8.097 ml of H2SO4, 